Hi there, YouTube family. No eye makeup today because we are going to be testing a dupe palette. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette, and this is a palette that I received as PR from Alter Ego, and this is the Temptress Palette. Now, before I get started, I just wanted to tell you that, remember Shop Hush and Bad Habit Beauty that did all of the dupes? Well, Alter Ego is a brand that is kind of picking up where they left off. They're out of business now. Shop Hush is no longer an app, no longer a web website and Bad Habit Beauty is no longer a cosmetics company. So Alter Ego has kind of picked up where they left off. I've heard that they um, they hired a lot of the same people that they had at Bad Habit Beauty and that they are helping to design these dupe palettes. So I was asked to review this against the Sultry and that's what we're going to do today. And I'm going to first show you the two side by side and side. Both of these have a mirror. Both of the packaging is really nice. I actually like the Alter Ego a little bit better because it is the slick packaging. Whereas this is glitter packaging and while that's really pretty, it does hold a lot of junk if you get it uh, accidentally get powder on it or anything like that. Okay, so here are the two palettes right here. This one is the Sultry, this one is the Temptress palette. And just pretty close to the same palettes. They really did a good job on duping these. And what I'm going to do today is I'm only going to be wearing three colors, but I'm gonna be wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills on this side and then the Temptress on this side. And we're gonna be doing three colors. So first one I'm gonna start out with because I do like to start out with a little bit brighter of a color is I'm gonna start out with the peach color that is in both of these palettes. So we're gonna start with the Temptress palette. This will go on the right. My right, your left, I suppose. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to be putting this into the crease and above it a little bit like a transition color. I'm not gonna make this uh, look very complicated because it's really just more about showing you this palette. Um, if I was gonna teach about it, I would definitely be doing that. You guys know I get a little windy about that. But um, we're basically going to be just kind of trying out the palette today. So beautiful color on the Temptress palette so far on that uh, peachy orange color. And then we're gonna go in with the Sultry. I will say in trying both of these palettes, that the Sultry palette has quite a bit more uh, fallout and is a bit softer formula. Some people are okay with that. Some people don't like it being so, uh, you know, so... Oh, it's almost like a loose pigment and then you stick your brush in there and it just kind of, you know, picks up a ton. That's kind of what Anastasia Beverly Hills formula does. And so just so you guys know that beforehand. So. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking the silver color in both palettes. I am using my finger for that. I always use my finger when I'm putting things on my lid and I am just patting that down. Oh, I don't think I told you guys that I did put a primer on both sides. I used the NYX, I used the NYX Proof It. It just is one that I really like and it just seems to work for me really well. So I'm building up that color a little bit and I'm putting it on the inner two thirds of my lid. And then this one is out of the Sultry palette and I'm going to put my finger into that one and just build that up on the inner two thirds of my lid as well. Extremely metallic on both of those for that color. Very soft, very easy to put on, and they were very easy to build up. And as you guys can see, the colors are looking almost identical. So because I want the look to be a little bit more on the cool side, I'm gonna go into this gray right here. And this one again is the Temptress palette, and that's going on the right side. And I'm just gonna use this to kind of darken up the whole look and kind of make it a bit more muted with the, with the cool color. Really soft, really pretty, really easy to blend. I'm really enjoying this palette. And then going into the Anastasia palette, again, just keeping it out here on the outer part of the eye, all the way towards the eyebrow, and then towards that inner third of the lid. And pulling it over just a little bit. Gonna go back into that same color and I'm gonna darken it up just a little bit. And really work on pulling the color up towards my eyebrow a little bit. Back into the Anastasia palette, the Sultry palette. Same thing on this side. Now I'm gonna take a clean brush on both sides and just buff those together. Okay, recently I've found that I've been noticing how dark my inner eye is right in there. And so I've been using the Benefit Highbrow right in there a lot to really lighten that whole area up. So I'm gonna do that now. 
And then I'm gonna just take my finger and blend that in a little bit. I usually do this at the beginning, I forgot earlier. And then I'm gonna take a small smudger brush and I'm gonna go into the champagne color, which is right there, and I'm gonna do my inner corner. And I'm just gonna do like a V on that inner corner. And then I'm gonna take that same champagne color out of the Anastasia palette and I'm going to lighten this eye up. Okay, I have a Milani pencil. This is one of their metallics. And I'm going to go along my bottom lash line. I didn't line my inner rim, but I'm going to kind of go into that a little bit right now. Normally I always line my inner rim with black, but right now I'm kind of just gonna be smudging across there with this brown. So it's gonna go in there a little bit. So I'm gonna clean that fine pencil brush off that I was using for the inner rim. And now I'm gonna start off with the light saddle brown right here. And I'm gonna just take that very lightly and smudge that eyeliner out that I just did. Kind of keeping, you know, most of the drama on the outer third. And then I'm gonna go into the dark and really keeping it out there. I'm going to smudge it out there. I'm gonna take that dark color and I'm just gonna round it up around a little bit to help define that outer V a little bit. Doing the same thing in the Anastasia palette, that saddle brown color on a pencil brush and smudging out that eyeliner and then going into the deepest brown and staying out here on the outer edge and bringing it up a slight bit into the crease. One more thing that I thought might be really pretty is I really like this color that is like, it's almost like a taupe. It's got gray, but it's got a little bit of brown in it and it's shimmery. And so I might thought I might take that on a flat shader brush and then just smudge it right underneath that eyeliner I did on the bottom. And since I don't have another one of those flat uh, brushes, I'm cleaning that off on a towel I have in my lap. And then I'm gonna go into the same color on the Anastasia palette, which is right here. I'm so bad about telling you guys colors because half the time I can't read when it's up that close to tell you the honest truth. I have to get my glasses. Okay, from LA Splash Cosmetics, I am going to take this and I'm gonna do a really thin line close to my uh, lash line and I'm going to just really thinly line that with black. I love this stuff, you guys. This is totally waterproof. I've worn this for 24 hours when I didn't have eye makeup remover and I'm not willing to you know, scrub up my eyes and it didn't come off. It was so good. So I really am enjoying this very much. It's so good during the summertime. Really, really waterproof. And then I'm gonna put a couple coats of mascara on and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, you guys, there is the finished look. Now, I am sure that you can look at this and tell that there, there is hardly any difference between these two sides. I love both of these palettes so much. And what I'm gonna do for you now is I'm going to do some swatches for you. Okay, you guys, so there are the swatches right there on your left right here. Um, my right is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. And then over here is the Temptress palette from Alter Ego. And I'll pull back just a little bit so you can see all of them. But you guys, they are so very close in their colors that there is no way to tell a difference. Formula wise, I do want you to know that the Anastasia Beverly Hills has that kick up to it. And I actually did find that the Alter Ego Temptress palette had a little bit softer of a formula than the Anastasia. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills. I will be forever a fan of theirs. But in this case, I would say that if you're wanting the Sultry palette, you've thought about pulling the trigger on it forever, that I would say absolutely go for the Temptress palette if you can't afford it. It is such a good dupe. And you know, I think they're going to pick up exactly where Bad Habit left off. So we're gonna see a lot more dupes from this company. I have been told by one of their PR representatives is that they have two more palettes coming out. One is for the Natasha Denona, I'm not sure which one that is. And then the other one is for the Huda Beauty New Nudes, which, which I love that palette. I picked it as my number one last year. So that was gonna be really hard to dupe for me because I think it's an outstanding, fantastic palette. And so I also wanted to tell you about the price point of each of these too. As always, I will throw it up on the screen, but the Anastasia Beverly Hills is 45. And I believe that I got this Temptress one for 16. I actually got this one from PR. No, this is not sponsored by them at all. They just sent me this to review. Um, and 
I actually went out and I bought an extra one for my daughter and I gave one to my daughter. So I really do love that palette. I think it's a wonderful dupe. They did a great job. That's everything for today's video, you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy seeing me do these side-by-side -side comparisons. Zabrina was the one that helped me to get out of my safety net here as I've been recuperating. And she is the one that helped me to decide that I'm going to do a side-by-side -side too because I watched a bunch of hers and they're so good. I hope that you all are doing great. Thank you all so much for your support. And the care that you guys show me. It's just so touching to me and I appreciate every bit of it. Thank you for everything. I'll catch you all in my very next video. Bye-bye. Love ya.